today we're going to figure out how to tell how much time has elapsed between two dates. If you enjoy my tutorials and would like to see more, please think about contributing to my Patreon account at patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. So let's say you have two dates and you want to find out how many days has passed between the two of them. Well, let's first off look at the date command and what can be done with it. So a lot can be done with it, more than we're going to look at today. But if you just type date in your shell and hit enter, it's going to tell you today's date and time. It, right now, while I'm recording this, it's Saturday, August 23rd. It's uh, 1,400 hours, three past that, 26 seconds past that, and it is 2014. So it's 2.03 p.m., to put it simply. Okay, so another thing you can do to get the output of a time you can get it displayed in different formats, and one of those formats uh, is going to be important for today. What we're going to say is plus percent s, and when we hit that, you can see it gives us this big old number. What this is, it's the number of seconds that has passed since midnight on January 1st, 1970. So if I run this again, you can see it's been a few seconds, and if I run it every second or so, it adds one second to it. It's been about four seconds since I ran it last. Yep, there we go. Perfect. So now we know that we can convert today's date into seconds like that. Can we convert other dates that have passed or ones in the future? Well, sure we can. I'm gonna use Control L to clear that. And I'm gonna use the date command. And I'm gonna say plus percent S, just like we did before. Oh, my video finished converting, okay. and. What we're going to do now is say dash D, and we're gonna give it a date, and we're gonna give it in this format. We're gonna say the year, so we'll say 2014. The month, we'll say 01 for January, and I'll say January 5th. Okay, so if I hit enter now, you can see we get the number of seconds since midnight, January 1st, 1970, to that date. If I was to go and put in another date, let's say January 6th, so we'll say 2014, we say the f January and 06 for the sixth day, you can see that it is a slightly higher number. So what we're going to do here is how many seconds are in a day? Now there's two ways we can figure this out. We can say echo and we can say, well there's 60 seconds in a minute. We're going to multiply that by 60 seconds in an hour, or six, sorry, 60 minutes in an hour. And we're going to multiply that by 24 hours in a day. We're going to pipe that into our BC, our calculator here, and we get 1,000, or sorry, 86,400. So we can assume right here that there's 86,400 seconds in a day. That's every day. Um, of course, another way we could figure this out is we can say echo. And we can say inside parentheses here that number, and we can say minus in parentheses the first date, and pipe that into BC. And if I did this correctly, um, oh, I'm sorry, should be dollar signs here. I don't know why I missed that. So what we're saying is run this command, and since we're putting in parentheses with a dollar sign, it's going to put the output of that command. So basically it's going to put this number, and, or sorry, that's this number, and do the same for this date. And there we go. We can see that, yeah, the dates are adding up properly when we're using the date command because, according to this, from one day to the next, 86,400 seconds has passed, and when we did our math earlier, it matched as well. So we can do the same thing for different dates. So here we did from the fifth to the sixth, obviously using the higher number first. Well, how many days pass from the second to the sixth? Well, we get again in seconds. So how do we figure this out uh, in days? Well, if we know that there's, the, there's 86,400 seconds in a day, we can take this number and divide it by that and that did not work. Um, bu 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 oh, because it's dividing first, right. We have to put another parentheses here 
and parentheses here, and might have to put that in quotations. <laughs> there we go, four days have passed with a few little mistakes there. So why did we have to put up, put in these things? Okay, anytime you use the echo command, you should put things in quotations. I don't know why I wasn't earlier, but I should have been. But if you do basic math, you know, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, um, that you're gonna do stuff in parentheses first. If not, division comes before subtraction, which means it was doing the division and then subtracting that number from the other. That's why we got this number before, and that's not right. So what we're doing here, and let me clear the screen just to simplify it so there's not other stuff on the screen. We're saying, okay, get the number of seconds for this date and get the number of seconds for this date and subtract them from each other. We're doing that first because they're inside parentheses. And then after that, that's going to give us the number of seconds, the number of days in seconds between the two. So to get the number of days rather than the number of seconds, because we're smart and we know that 86,400 seconds are in a day, we can divide by that number. And from the 2nd to the 6th of January on 2014, there are four days. And you can put in whatever you want here. Let's say uh, we want to figure out from 2001, and we'll say, uh, we'll say February 2nd, 2001 to January 16th, or sorry, January 6th of 2016. Well, we get a lot of days there. And again, uh, if it's that large, then you can do more math after that to figure out the number of years and days, but we're gonna stick with days for right now because I don't want this tutorial to go on too long. I'm basically showing you the basic concept of how to do this, and now it's up to you to figure out the right math equations for the rest. You're gonna have to do some division based on days and take the remainders uh, and, and get the days, put that with the years, you know what I'm saying. So anyway, from January, uh, sorry, February 2nd, 2001 to uh, January 6th, 2016, 5,451 days will have passed. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. You can count down till Christmas or whatever you want to count down to. Uh, you can do a second counter, a minute counter, a day counter, a year counter. Well, if you count down to Christmas, that wouldn't make sense. But uh, just by changing what you're dividing by. And I hope that you found this tutorial useful. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. Please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There should be a link in the description. And again, have a great day. No, I know you're not. I'm not going to Obviously, I'm <laughs> bad. <laughs> More than I probably need to see. Right. So, yeah. but my point, though, Let's is... I would like to take a moment to thank the following patrons who made this video possible by supporting me over at patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. Uh, the server's only giving you this much on downloading a file. You could do four connections and speed up your download. Another option would be is sometimes servers have mirrored servers. So even though you have that original server, you may have another server here.